Hi girls, this is Derek from the Peace Tech Lab and I have some more solutions for the bug fixing problems that we talked about in our last session. Uh, there were three problems that you guys uh, and I worked out. One was persistent memory of uh, your emergency contacts so that when you close the phone and then reopen the app, the phone remembers who it needs to call in the case of emergency. One was uh, setting the home screen button uh, so that you could choose who your emergency contact would be. And one was a map loading issue, which was actually more on my end, and I think I know why, so I can go through that as well. Uh, basically, I came up with a solution that worked on my end. Uh, I don't know if it'll necessarily do what you guys want to do, uh, but I've, I've made a copy of the, the changes that I've made to uh, your app, and then you can review them and see if you want to implement the changes yourself when uh, you go and bug fix. But let's, let's get into it. Um, okay, so the first question that we had was how to do uh, persistent memory, uh, persistent storage of uh, an emergency contacts list. Um, I'm just going to jump into the web build here, and just to be clear, let me let me go over to the emulator. Um, this little window in the bottom right is an emulator for your app. Uh, basically, it's the computer running the software on a phone. It's a little bit slower, but you might it might help you see what screen I'm on. Basically, uh, what would happen when you clicked this Add View Recipients button is that uh, you'd be able to add recipients and you'd be able to remove them from a list, but as soon as you close the app, the information would be forgotten, which is not very helpful if, you know, you want to use the app over a course of many days and you don't want to constantly be updating the, the numbers. So, uh, jumping over to the web player, what you had done uh, was to add things to a database and add them to a list, but then the database and the list never really talk to each other. So I, um, all I needed to do in order to make this work was to uh, complete the loop. So uh, I'll send you uh, an image file with these changes, uh, but you can see that in the same area that you go to after uh, inputting uh, a number, um, you can see that after you enter a number, it gets added to a list, and then that list goes uh, and populates the, the tiny database that's on your phone. And this tiny beta database has persistent memory, so when you close the app and open it again, it'll still be there. Then what you do uh, is make sure that you, you add a new text bubble here, uh, the screen initialize, and you basically tell the phone to make a uh, the list when you open up the map from that database of persistent storage. So you say, if uh, the database is not empty, um, as long as it has recipient data, make a list out of your recipients. Cool, uh, that's, that's handy. And then all you need to do uh, is make sure that you can do the same thing removing uh, contacts from list. You don't want the phone to remember contacts um, that you have said, no, I, I'm no longer interested in having these people. Uh, so you go down to uh, the area where you remove somebody, here we go, and you basically do the same thing. You remove them from the list, you clear the, the database of all the contacts, you just wipe it afresh, and then you populate the database with the information that's on the list. Now, I don't, I don't know if this might be helpful to you just hearing me say it, but I, I wanted to walk through the kind of logical process, and then I'm also going to share with you uh, images that you can look at and basically review all of what's down here, okay? So that, uh, that should test the, or that should fix the persistent memory problem. Going now to the, the home screen, or if this emulator will actually catch up. Do, do, do. Here we are. Uh, going now to the home screen, we had a problem where when you clicked on this, it would just call one number. I, I, I think it was Anu's number or, or somebody. 
Uh, but now what happens is when you click on the, the button it says do you want to call or do you want to set your emergency contact. If you call it'll go straight to the, the number that you set. Um, but if you set you have the option nope it's not showing up here. But it does <laughs> uh, off the emulator. It, uh, you can set the emergency contact number it'll populate a database and then you can um, call the, the emergency number by default. Now for the third problem, for the third page, the, uh, the issue we were having where uh, once the GPS found your location, the Google map wouldn't load. I think uh, Nanit said that this was just something that happened on my end. And you might be right, Nanit, because, let me scroll down to here. What would happen for me, oh, that needs to be google.com. Basically, what I, I, I was getting an error because I was going to google.co.in, which is the India page. Uh, and in order to see stuff on my own end, uh, well, the phone behaves best when it's google.com, which is the American end of things. So if you guys aren't having a problem with that, wonderful. Uh, here's just what I was encountering as someone outside of India. So if we ever get to the point that we want to start spreading this app around to people in Pakistan or Bangladesh or, you know, California, uh, we'll want to make sure that the map function works in any country that you use it in. And in the meanwhile, we're going to think about this in the Google Play Store, specifying that the app is primarily designed for Indians. So those are the three big issues that we encountered. Uh, and these are some solutions. I'll send you an email with the follow-up. And I will send you also uh, the AIA file that I have been using. Uh, the thing is that I, 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 in order to best learn the processes that we're, I'm going through here, it's probably best if you don't just use the AIA file that I've been working on. It's best if you uh, copy and enter in yourselves, because then you'll learn the, the process. So um, let me know if this is helpful. Uh, I'll send this along, and we can keep on talking. Uh, thanks a lot. I'll talk to you soon. And end.